Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Tuesday, August 6, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got 640 Eastern, 340 Pacific, first pitch in PNC with game one of the series, San Diego Padres at the Pittsburgh Pirates. Bailey Falter, the lefty, going for the Pirates. Dylan Cease going for the Friars. Minus 150, that's the Padres as the road favorite. Total of eight. Pods come in 61 and 52 on the season. 11 and two, their last 13. One of the hottest teams in baseball. Under five games back of the LA Dodgers. And they got Dylan Cease on the hill, guys. If you've been watching the show here, uh, the 28-year-old out of Milton, Georgia, We've been betting on him a bunch, four straight recorded wins. His last four starts, just four hits given up in those starts. One earned run, not one earned run a game, one earned run over the last four starts, 36 strikeouts in the last 28 innings. He is a one-way bet for us only. And he's up against the Pirates team that isn't very good overall by their overall season metrics offensively. Uh, Bottom three against righties. I think he's going to have another solid start here. Now, Falter, the the southpaw going for the Pirates, he had an IL stint, and in his last start, he only had one start back. It was against the Houston Astros. If you look at his, like, kind of overall peripherals, they were pretty good, but go a little bit deeper into the advanced metrics, he had a 40% hard hit rate against against the Astros. So that makes me think it's a little bit misleading here. I mean, the Pirates have lost three of four, and again, the, the Padres are just hot right now. Minus 150, a little juicy, but uh, I actually think it's a good spot to lay uh, minus one and a half run line with the away team on the Padres listing Dylan Cease, and we get plus money on that, plus 105 on the kickback for the Padres to win by two runs or more. So it's the Padres on the run line to start us off. Next one up, we will head from the Steel City down to South Florida for 640 Eastern start time, Cincinnati Reds. Miami Marlins, Max Meyer going for the fish, Nick Lodolo, the lefty going for the big red machine, minus 140, that's the Reds as the road favorite, total of eight. This is game two of the series, Cincinnati just won game one, 10 to three. Lodolo last time out, not a good start at all, we actually took the loss there, but it was against the Cubs, he was seeing him for the third time in, in kind of a short period. I think he's going to have a more successful start here against the Marlins pitching down there in the fish tank. Uh, He has pitched well in domes. That's one thing I like to look at with younger pitchers. He pitched against the Rays there in Tropicana, uh, had a good start. So I I could see him going, you know, five, six, seven innings, holding the Marlins offense at bay. He's up against Meyer here. Third round pick or third pick overall, excuse me, first rounder in 2020. High prospect guy. He's been injured a bunch in his career. So far in five starts this season, he's going like four, as high as six innings, 3.8 ERA. I think he's going to have a good career if he can stay healthy. But in this spot, up against Lodolo, I don't love it, particularly because the Marlins offense against lefties is the worst in baseball. 30 out of 30, they got a 622 team OPS against, and just a 6% walk rate telling me, this lineup isn't seeing the ball well out of lefty's hands. Now they're they're facing a big, tall lefty. It throws pretty hard in Lodolo. So I think the Reds is the side here, guys. Not a best bet. Don't love the 40 cents, but minus 140 on Cincinnati is the only way I could look at this one. We got 645 Eastern in our nation's capital. Washington Nationals hosting the San Francisco Giants. This is game two of the series. We get the Giants going with uh, Hayden Birdsong on the hill, the 22-year-old young guy having a a good start to the season, commanding a minus 115 road price tag. Up against Mackenzie Gore, another young lefty, high prospect, total of nine. Now, I bring up Mackenzie Gore, high prospect. He's actually kind of, you know, not pitched as well of late, and that's putting it nicely. I think he's fade city. I mean, his last eight starts, he's 0-4. He's pitched 29 innings, 29 earned runs, just a 24 to 19 strikeout to walk ratio. That's not going to work pitching, pitching in the show here. So he's not missing bats at the same rate that he was last year, the year before. I'm looking to go against him here and bringing up Birdsong here. Not a lot of people know. I didn't know much about him uh, really before a couple starts ago. 
but he's got 20 strikeouts his last two starts, uh, both against the Rockies, but one of those in Coors Field. It's it's pretty impressive. Uh, he's a guy that's throwing 96, 97 miles per hour, 30 innings, just 22 hits given up, 38 strikeouts. Uh, this is a Giants team. This is game two of the series. Now winning what? Th- yeah, they just won four to one on uh, Monday night. So they've won four or five. They won eight of their last 10. Um, and they're a team, you know, lefty ready dichotomy here, guys, facing Mackenzie Gore, a lefty. This is a top five lineup against lefties. They actually struggle against righties. Well, they're getting a lefty here. They got a bullpen edge as well. I think this number's short. Minus 115 on the Giants over the Nationals in D.C. We got uh, 840 Eastern for our next matchup, heading to mile high. Speaking of Coors Field, it's the New York Mets at the Colorado Rockies. Kyle Freeland, the lefty, going for the Rocks. Luis Severino going for the Metropolitans. Minus 160, that's the Mets as the road favorite. Total of 11. This is game one of the series. Mets come in 58 and 53 on the year. They have been pretty good on the road, four games over. They just won six to nothing yesterday against the Cardinals. And it's an interesting schedule spot here, guys, because they, they were in New York. They went out to California, then just one game in St. Louis. Now they're heading to Colorado. What I have in my notes here is, and, and if you watched the show yesterday, we actually bet on the Mets um, over the Cardinals. So got the win there, six to nothing. But as this kind of scheduling goes on, it might start tonight, but I think it will start, you know, game two, game three in Colorado. And then they got another road series after that. I'm not necessarily looking to bet on the Mets. I think that that's a, that's tough on lineups to make that much travel travel. Also an interesting note here, Severino, you know, a 30 year old Dominican born pitcher. He, he spent a lot of time in his mind, in the minor leagues in the state of Florida, where there's not much elevation at all. That's coming from a Floridian guys. And then I, I doing research here. I was surprised. I mean, this is a guy that has multiple years here. I mean, he's 30 years old, pitching in Major League Baseball. He's had a great career pitching with the Yankees and now the Mets. He's never pitched in Coors Field. That was surprising to me. And that kind of ticks something that I love to bet. A, a, a starting pitcher's first start in Coors Field is something I look to fade. You know, the elements, the thin air. Um, I, th- I could see him struggling. I mean, he's got 162 career starts in the show not counting not MLB starts, and he's never pitched here. Uh, I'm going to look for him to struggle a little bit. Now, he's up against Colorado. This is their first start back in Coors Field. They had a, what, two or three city road trip. I don't love that first game back, but as this series goes on, guys, I have the Rockies circled as bet on. But in this matchup, I I almost feel like it's, it's setting up to be like a hold your nose special type deal on the Rockies because they got Freeland on the hill. And when you look at his splits, it is surprising. He's got a sub-2 ERA in Coors Field with an OPS against under 600. This guy's been money in pitching in Colorado. And, you know, he's been there for years. Now he's up against the Mets offense that is is pretty good. One of the better offenses in baseball, in my opinion. Great against lefties. So that's why I mean hold your nose special because this could blow up in our face. But I I really do think the Rocks plus 145 is the way to go after this one, guys. List Freeland as the starter. Again, hold your nose. Plus 145. Risk 100 to win 145. That's on the Rockies at home where if you're betting the Rocks, you want to be betting on them in cores. We get them here. So it's the Colorado Rockies as the home dog. All right. One game left. It's on the West Coast. Uh, Reminder, if you could comment below, it helps out the algorithm, guys. Looking to grow the show. Any questions, fire away. We'll hit them on on this week's uh, Drew's Daily Diamond. Going daily, Monday through Saturday on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. If you're interested in premium picks, got them up. Wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin, NFL, college football, and of course, Major League Baseball. All right, 10-10 Eastern time, Philadelphia Phillies, LA Dodgers, First place in the NL East, first place in the NL West. It's Clayton Kershaw versus uh, Christopher Sanchez in a battle of southpaws here. Eight in the hook being the total. Dodgers, short home favorites, minus 110 in the overnight market. This is game two of the series. As I'm recording this right now, game one has not finished. But Philadelphia is 66 and 45 coming into the series. Dodgers 65 and 47 coming in. Christopher Sanchez is a guy I'd like to bet on. He's he is off of a rough start. Last time out, it was against the Yankees. 
But overall, he's got a 3-3 ERA, a sub-3 FIP, six innings, just two earned, given up against the Dodgers. That was on July 10th, so what, about three weeks ago? He had a solid start against this same lineup. And he's up against Kershaw here, big name, heading to the Hall of Fame, the whole bit. But two starts this season, near a 6 ERA, he's given up 12 hits and actually nine runs total. Now, some of that was due to an error, so it doesn't go on his ERA. But he's averaging less than four innings a start in the first two. He's just throwing 89 miles per hour. I'm actually looking to go against Kershaw, guys. We did it last time out with success. We're going to do it again here. List Christopher Sanchez as the starter, and let's jump on the Phillies as the short road dog, minus 102, risk 102 to win 100 on the Philadelphia Phillies. Slight bullpen edge towards the Phils as well. So in recap, we got the late night Phillies, minus 102 over the Dodgers. Colorado Rockies, the home dog barking, plus 145 over the Mets. We get the San Francisco Giants, minus 115 over the Nationals. Cincinnati Reds, minus 140 over the Marlins. And the San Diego Padres, minus the run line over the Pittsburgh Pirates. I am Drew Martin. That's going to do it for Tuesday's show. Stay tuned for Wednesday's show, guys. Smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.